Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a 36 image contact sheet through Adobe Bridge. What you need to do is select all these images first off and foremost. Do Command A, that'll select everything, and I'm going to click Output up here on this tab. If you don't see Output, you'll need to click this arrow up here in the right hand corner and go down to Output. So output basically means that um, we have two options. We're going to output the, these images that we have selected to a PDF or to a web gallery. It's really important that the images are selected, otherwise you won't be outputting anything. So if you have two images selected, it's going to output two. If you have 36, it's going to output 36. So we're just going to work with the PDF today, um, and you can experiment with web gallery if you'd like to. Basically, we have to create this contact sheet on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper um, and we're going to make that contact sheet be vertical so it's going to be portrait to click portrait and making sure the page preset is US paper so 8.5 by 11 portrait and the quality should be 300 ppi over to a 100 and make sure your background is white okay second most important part I'm just going to kind of minimize this document for now the second most important part of this is creating six by six columns and rows. So I'm going to create uh, six columns by six rows. Six times six is 36. And I'm not going to have a half inch horizontal spacing. I'm going to have a 0.1 inch horizontal, 0.1 inch vertical spacing. Okay, the next thing is down here in overlays, making sure that file name is unclicked. We don't want to include a file name. So now I'm ready to, I'm just going to refresh the preview just to kind of show you what we've done. But if you're already, if you're already at this point, you can go ahead and just click save. And I'm going to name my PDF. So click save. It's going to process those images gives me a dialog that says it's been done. Go back to Essentials and come down here to the contact sheet and I can hit spacebar to preview it or I could just open it in Photoshop. So I'm doing a right click, open with Adobe Photoshop CS5. It's going to pull up this dialog and what I want to do is instead of sRGB, we'll just do RGB color, right? Because sRGB is for web, RGB is for printing. I'm going to click OK. There we go. Second thing I want to show you how to do is create two images on one 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, um, just like that perfect copy project that we did a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go ahead and select two images. I'm going to hold Command, select one. I'm going to pick another one that maybe goes with that. I'm going to click this one. So Command, you can click two at a time. Uh, and I'm going to go to Output. And now my previous settings of that contact sheet are still here. I'm just going to have to change this formatting from portrait, which is up and down, vertical, uh, to horizontal. Uh, keep the quality at 300 and 100. Background's still going to be white. And notice nothing's changed yet because I haven't refreshed the preview, but that'll change really soon. Columns, I'm going to do two columns by one row. And I'm going to put a horizontal padding in between these images of half an inch. I'm not going to worry about the vertical. It's not going to matter too much. And I'm going to click Refresh. It'll process those two images, put them perfectly in the middle of this 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And you know this is going to look really good for those perfect copy images. And we'll be able to compare and contrast what you guys did. So after you've done the contact sheet, maybe you do this and click Save. Save as. Hmm. Two up. It's going to process the images. Click OK. Back to Essentials. And here that is. Open with Adobe Photoshop. OK. There we go. I can go to Print and Horizontal. Scale to Fit. And it'll put these perfectly in the middle of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper.